everybody, I'm Kelsey and I love colorful things. So we're back once again for another episode of the Not So Berry Challenge Blue Generation. And today is the day we've all been waiting for. Prom. My prom glitched last episode. Also since then, my attraction mod just stopped functioning. I don't know if I did something wrong. Also, I had a save file get corrupted. Luckily it wasn't this one. A lot has gone down in my Sims world since you've last seen it. So if you're noticing things are a little differently functioned, that might be why. And also why I don't have certain mods installed. But regardless, we're going to prom. I downloaded a new auditorium from the gallery and made sure that it was functional with an event. The event I think we're doing is a black and white bash, which is kind of formal and fun. Our date's gonna be there, all of our friends, literally everyone. I also read all of your guys' comments from last video and also had a poll after last video on my Patreon asking, who are you more interested now? Are you still team Deshaun or have you changed your mind to team Vincent since the last episode? Almost everyone has said they're all on board for team Vincent and a lot of you have suggested that Deshaun would be a really good one-time affair. I definitely see that. I think Deshaun, I really liked the idea of them together because he was goofy. He looked a little different. I think that he would be a really good choice for her long-term. However, A, she never really tried to get to know him. And B, I think that her friends would make fun of him. So I think Vincent is like the more conventionally acceptable relationship in terms of her friends, which might be why that she ends up going with him. I think that they're going to be great together, but I do think that might be why later in life she kind of thinks like, did I actually want to be with Vincent or was I just with Vincent because my friends told me to? Without giving too much away of what is tinkering around in my mind, I just like that we're all on the same page. So we're going to see it all go down. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I would love for you to join us. My goal is to hit 900,000 subscribers and we're getting very close. I think within the next month or two, so I'm keeping an eye out and I'm starting to plan what kind of celebratory thing we might do. Let me know in the comments, what do you want to See. Enough with all that. Let's get to prom. All right, here we are at the black and white bash. And oh, wow. All the girls decided to A, not wear black or white and B, to wear the... Uh, I love these shoes, but not for formal wear. I don't know what they're all thinking, but we're, we're gonna change our outfits here. I just wish we could just pick a formal event. I love their fits. They're not giving prom, but that's okay. And look at all the boys who are here. Look at Vincent looking slick in his fit. We got Bran, you know, looking very Archie from the comics. Oh, we've got Julia who looks kind of annoyed with Bran. We've got our date, Nicholas Walker. We got Pam. Paige, who is our Regina George, sweet baby Brielle, who is our Karen, and our uh, former crush Lorenzo's here. I did invite all of the students that we are friends with, so they might show up slowly, but surely. Let's all go in. So we're gonna turn some music on. Let's go get a prom photo. We're gonna take a selfie with Nicholas. We're putting out all the food for everybody for the black and white bash, and then me and my date are gonna go take a quick little photo. Or not, apparently. It took him too long. <laughs> Oh, there she goes. Okay. I wanted the, you guys to be like in front of the background, but that's cool. Okay. That's a good one. I love that all the other kids are outside. We can't vote for anybody, which sucks, but that's okay. Let's take a photo with our besties, Paige and Brielle. Hopefully it's a good one. And then maybe we'll take another photo with Brielle, our other bestie, so that we get some good digital photos of everybody. Is anyone else coming to the event? Here's a couple other people that we invited. We've got Elise and Lucia. Lucia, I feel like you might already have an outfit. Do you have like a nice formal wear? Yes, you do, girl. And it's black and white. Like, what's that about? And you might already also have a formal outfit. All right, everybody's coming in hot. Let's give maybe Vincent a hug, like an affection hug. Yes. I want, okay, after we're gonna get a photo, obviously, with Brielle Duke. Oh, we're feeling very flirty from adoring someone nearby. But we're saying hi to everyone. We're checking out our photos. Maybe we should all like dance together. I don't know. Oh, look at it. Oh my God, it's so cute. 
cute. We got everybody here. Oh, Deshaun is talking to Brielle and she looks so over it. Maybe she could sweetheart dance together with Nicholas, her date, or maybe Vincent. I mean, Nicholas is her date. Maybe she should do that with him. Prom is proming. She's swishing her hips, looking cute. Lorenzo looks scandalized back there behind her. I don't think he's attracted to her at all. Maybe we should take like a funny photo with uh, Vincent. Just, you know, we're besties. We could go take photos. She loves photos too. So it just makes sense, you know, that she's gonna go take a photo with him or not, apparently. She's chatting. Oh, she leveled up her comedy skill. I don't think that's a requirement of the challenge, but go off. Okay, she's gonna, oh, she's taking Vincent into the room. Oh my gosh, is there sparks that are gonna fly in the photo booth? She's feeling a little nervous. She's like, what do I say? I don't know. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to see their photo together. So cute. Okay, I wanna see some romantic one. Oh my gosh, look at this. Oh, oh my God, they are getting romantic. We gotta make a move. Okay, let's do like a bit, a bit of a compliment his appearance. He looks great. She's feeling painful print from a terrible paired photo. I don't know whose photo that was that she had a bad one with. He seemed to like it, but he didn't seem to like really get the idea that it was flirty. I'm getting nervous on her behalf. We're just gonna do a little flirt. Oh my gosh, we should sweetheart dance with Vincent. She's like, hey, um, do you want to dance or something? Stop chatting with the friends and go sweetheart dance with Vincent. I love that Nicholas just doesn't care. I mean, they just went as friends and he's chatting up with Juliet. So, you know, I ship it. Look at them. We need to flirt again. Maybe do a bold pickup line because you're feeling confident, okay? You had a cute dance with him and then you can go use the toilet, I promise. Okay, he's coming over. He's like, oh, hey, what's going on? He's also, you can tell he's feeling playful. <gasps> oh, that's so cute. He was into it and now he's feeling flirty. Go flirt with him, girl. You don't even have a romance bar yet. Look the way he looks at her. You can just tell he's in love. It's an awkward encounter. Of course it is because she's flirting with him in front of everyone else, but she doesn't seem to care. Okay, I just want a, one romance bar to show up between them. That's all I ask. She wants to give a massage to Vincent. Oh, okay. They exchanged numbers, which I feel like they already, oh my God, look at her crush. Her little crush, she's enamored. Oh my God, it's so cute. He's getting up to go somewhere. So let's go. I love that someone graffitied on this toilet. Let's go pee. Prom is almost over, which sucks, but we danced, you know, we romanced. We didn't eat any food. So maybe we'll grab a snack after we use the restroom. Why is Azul talking about death to us while we're on the toilet? Azul, get out of the bathroom. I know it's co-ed, but get out. It is officially over. We're gonna grab some ceviche before we head out. She's exhausted. Exhausted. Technically, there is no official romance between her and Vincent, but they vibed. They vibed for sure. Is Vincent still here? Chat with him, girl. Chat with him. He's still here. Should you ask him on like a date? Although it's kind of late. He's heading out. Okay. We'll ask him tomorrow. It is Sunday. Okay. She put on her little cute cold weather fit. Is this uh, Vincent? Yeah. Vincent's exhausted too. Look at him. They're both closing it down at the same time. That is so high school romance. You like both just don't. <laughs> don't leave because the other one's still there. You're like, uh, I guess I'll just stay. They're here. She's walking home alongside Vincent. Vincent's like, bye. He waved a little bit while she was walking away. That's so cute. Romance is in the air, even if it's not on the Sims bar. The fact that he was ro like feeling flirty as soon as she flirted with him makes me think that he has a crush on her too. So let's go upstairs and just zonk out. I need you to go to sleep so that you can maybe ask your crush out on a date today. Royal, meanwhile, he's doing great. His birthday's coming up, right? It's tomorrow, tomorrow on Monday. Technically it's early Sunday morning, but tomorrow he becomes a kid. Let's give Robin a bath quickly. She definitely needs it. Royal is angry from dancing to music, too much dancing. Robin's coming in, ready for her bath, hopefully. All right, we're giving a bubble bath to Robin, which is perfect. Royal is being sassy and wants his dad to read him a book. Royal, dad can read you a book. Give me a second. I'm gonna have him come down here and he's gonna read 
need T-Rex Trex to Royal. We also need uh, River to start, you know, getting it together with her school because she needs to reach an A level <laughs> before she ends high school so her dad can like level up his successful lineage requirement. Not that it's required, but I would like him to be able to have it. Yeah, I think she's just very creative and I also think she's very distracted by social things at school. Story time with dad who has the same hair hairstyle as her crush. I've got to I've got to download some more male hairstyles. I might get some of you guys to recommend some, some new styles to me. Fletcher finished reading his book to his son, so why don't you go mop some stuff up? I think they should pull out some food for the kids. Why don't you give food to Royal? Oh, I guess we'll just do peanut butter and jelly. Oh, okay. Is this the awkward photo? Photo booth photo? Yep. He like pushed her to the side. I bet he was teasing. Or maybe the one where she's kissing his cheek. Oh my gosh. Look at that guys look at that putting it out on her desk you know we're gonna add like a dark wood frame look at that oh my gosh we got some photos with our besties oh god okay why are all of these awkward i guess they're supposed to be funny but they're really weird <laughs> She kind of has a wall going on over here with some of her photos. I thought maybe they'd all go together, but maybe maybe we put them on the desk too. Or we could put them here. Yeah, that's perfect. It's 10 a.m. River, are you almost like well rested yet? She's somewhat there. She's very shinky. Ivy and her husband having some, a kiss, you know, bonding together. Ooh, getting some romance. Maybe it's time for Fletcher to change his hair. We could modify his hair to be more dad looking so it doesn't match our crush's hair. Yeah, I think it's time for him to kind of rock a different hairstyle. Maybe something like this is good. It's kind of similar to what he had before. This one looks like his hairline is receding. This one's pretty good. It's got the fade on it still though. I feel like he might not want to keep up with the fade this much. I think I'm gonna go with this one because his hair was this. So I feel like it's just a, a different version of the same thing. And it does make him look a little older. I do think this one's kind of nice actually. He puts less product in so it kind of hangs down. Yay, new hairs for the boy. Royal is hanging out with the cat and Robin is chilling. She needs, she's a little tired. So maybe we should take her to bed. River is awake. Go take your shower, girl. She's like, oh, I feel disgusting. Oh, that was a late night last night with all my friends. Little brother needs to use the toilet, unfortunately. He's gonna go use the potty by himself. Dad also kind of needs to use the restroom, actually. I love Royal just walking in while his big sister is using the shower. She's probably gonna be like, I don't love this. Yeah, she she sees like what's happening. She's like, oh, come on. Brush your teeth. Hopefully that'll help with her high so she kind of cut her shower short. And then she'll go downstairs and make herself some breakfast. BLT sounds good. She's gonna teach herself some more cooking. She's sparkling out the wazoo. You gotta eat your BLT and then maybe call up your babe man. Yeah, listening to loud music. Why don't you listen to your metal, your favorite, Change Station. Yeah, she's she loves her metal music. She's in mourning from losing a friend. Don't know who that is. Oh, look. Fletcher's acquired the writing skill. That's fun. She doesn't like how dirty this is apparently. That's okay. She's cleaning while listening to her metal music. She loves it. She's like, great tunes. Should we like take a little run? I know she loves a run. So she's gonna go jog to clear her mind since she's feeling really low today. She's remembering all the people in her life that has died. We're running taking a jog, leveling up our fitness skill. She's feeling very confident running through, ran all the way to Vlad's Manor as usual. It was a choice that she always runs to Vlad's Manor and home, whatever floats your boat. Let's go take another shower and we're gonna call up our crush and ask him on a date. So she's like, hey, <laughs> it's so good to hear from you. Long time no talk, right? We. Who's she talking to? She just was invited, gonna, oh my God. I, I feel like, cause she was just on the phone gonna ask Vincent on a date. And I feel like Vincent just beat her to the punch. Like she was like, oh, you know, using out your number that I got last night. It's so much fun. And then he was like, listen, River, should we go on a date? And she was like, I was gonna ask you that. Um, Yes, we are going to go on a date to the bluffs. I think it might be cold for the bluffs, but you know, very romantic, very, you know, 
natural, I guess. Yeah, it's literally snowing, but it's all good. Vincent looks cute in his little out. But we're gonna go kind of give him like a hug. He's like, hey, she's here. He's clapping. How cute are they? They just got a nice embrace. Oh my gosh, is she feeling nervous? She's like, what do I say? She got too nervous to ask him on a date. You know, maybe he's like, your hands look so cold in that outfit, which honestly, I'm shocked that she isn't cold yet. They finally, finally have some romantic status. Don't play your violin, girl. Be chill, be chill, be chill. Let's flirt let's kind of compliment his appearance tell him how cute he is don't take it out girl put it back put it back <gasps> he left the sims be glitching on me they were vibing maybe he saw the violin was like i'm out i can't do this just kidding she's gonna ask him on a date and they're just gonna stay in the same place we're gonna sweet talk him a bit he's feeling very happy being with her we're gonna try to flirt oh my gosh they could already have their first kiss no way maybe we can like Hold his hands a bit. Oh my gosh, she's so cold. Okay, put on your cold weather fit. There you go. It's a suggestive conversation. Oh my gosh, they're holding each other's hands. She's so nervous. Oh my gosh, you guys should just kiss. What is he talking about? He was like complaining about something, but they're having their first kiss right now. Oh, look at them. So romantic. Okay, we should sit and chat somewhere. Is there like a bench? They could, oh, they can sit together there, okay. She's sweet talking to him. I didn't even tell her to do that. Okay, we're gonna go over here. Maybe they can like snuggle or something. Oh, why did he change? So he needs to go to the restroom or something like that? Where's he going? Yeah, I think he needs to pee. Are you peeing? No, he's going on a run and we're playing violin. Okay, well, I'm glad you both have hobbies. I wanted you to like cuddle up somewhere. Is there, there's like a bonfire somewhere, right? They can like make a fire. I felt like there was one, yes. There's one right here. Okay, why don't we light this over here? I love that he's kind of athletic. They could go on jogs together. That'd be really cute. Cozy up with Vincent. Yeah, cozy up with him in front of the fire. All right, this is working out well. I can't wait for her to go back on Monday and tell all her girlfriends. Obviously, they're gonna take it slow. I don't think we're gonna ask to be boyfriend, girlfriend just yet. Oh, making out in front of the fire. Okay. Oh, wow. It looks like he has a sentiment. I wanna see what his is. He's smitten. Oh, and closer from happy memories and Jesus crush. They're lovers and they're social bunny friends. I actually want to get to know him more. Oh, he's active. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Honestly, that's cute because her favorite hobby is jogging. Wait, that's so cute. They're oh my gosh, she's thinking about wedding rings. Girl is already there. And she's like annoyed every time he picks up his cell phone. <laughs> Oh my God, that's so funny. We're gonna take a little photo of him from this date. Their first date together. Girl, don't stop trying to play your violin. Okay, if you could seduce him with the violin, I'd say go for it. <gasps> oh, it's cute. The fire's behind him. I would have put him like kind of more catty corner to the fire. I love that he's like kind of cheesing here. He's looking romantic. Oh, his little celebratory thing. He seems so happy that they're together. Oh, giving her a bit of flirt, flirty eyes. Yeah, we're gonna take them with him. All right, we're gonna make it a bigger photo, which will be cute. We're gonna take that one. One. Lots of cheek kisses. Oh, we have the tripod. Wait, we could do like a full photo thing. Can you place that somewhere? Take a photo with Vincent. Okay, let me see how that one works. That one might be cute. She's like, okay, I'll put it on timer and then I'm gonna run over there. Oh my God, I love it. I love it. Okay, let's get a different pose. How cute is that? They got like a silly pose. Okay, I love the silly pose. Little cheering, hanging out with each other pose. I need to get some more photo options of these. I feel like they always get stuck in the same few poses. I love it. I love all the photos that she took. Yeah, reveal our crush. I want him to know she has a crush on him. I think that'll be cute. Oh, look at him. He's so smitten. And she's like, okay, I have a crush on you. And it's almost Royal's birthday tomorrow. Ooh, but it's like 11. We should probably be getting going soon. Let's sit together and maybe grab a quick meal of some granola. Have some like little, little snacks together on your little date because you guys are getting tired. They're having such a good little winter date. Let's have some deep conversations. They're getting deep on this date, which I love. He got a new sentiment for her a again. Deeply connected. Wow, he's got three sentiments for her right now. So we're gonna try to attempt to seduce him because that's a requirement on our date goal. And I think that she might try to do that anyway. <laughs> 
So there you go. And the legendary date, there is something special in your Sims household inventory to help remember it. They had a legendary date and she is also now smitten with him. Perfect first date for both of them. It is late, so girl is gonna say goodbye. Yeah, we're gonna give him like another kind of kiss and then we're gonna maybe head home. A kiss goodbye in all of the gardens and everything. Oh, they're so cute. And now, yeah, we're gonna go home. Yeah, I think it's a little past curfew considering that she hasn't done her homework for school tomorrow. I think she's gonna have to maybe take a sleeping sleeping potion, aka some coffee to stay awake and do her homework. So we're gonna, we're gonna use some of our reward store points to get that. Cause girl needs to do her homework. Or did we already do it? Our homework is complete. Oh shoot, okay. I guess she just is gonna go off to sleep. We'll have class tomorrow. Royal Berry, ooh, needs to use the toilet. He's going to take himself there automatically. Good boy. Robin is chilling. Maybe you should go to sleep, Robin. It's like 2 a.m., okay? Fletcher, yeah, go use the toilet. And then I feel like everyone should just go to bed. I know no one's tired, but I think that it's time to try to go to bed for everyone. Royal's using the toilet all on his own because he's such a big boy. He's almost a level three of potty. He's almost potty trained right before he became a kid. He is, he's potty trained now. What a big boy. Okay, let's go feed him some dinner. I'm just zooming through it because I'm ready for school, okay? I'm ready. I want to see what all of our friends think of our new crush that we went on a date with. It looks like our girl woke up at 5 a.m., Ivy. Fletcher's gonna read a book to his son. Ivy's going to use the restroom and then going to fill up the bowl for her kitty here. Did you read to him? Royal did not get the book he wanted. There he goes, his fun's going up now, which is cute. And then maybe you should go play with your toys. Ivy's enjoying her food, gonna clean it up. He's having fun playing pretend with his toys. I think she goes to school in about an hour, so let's wake her up. Up. I think you should get some cereal or get some leftovers really quick, please. Eat it quickly. You only have like 10 minutes for three. And yep, we're joining her. We tried, we tried to get her to eat. She did eat a bite, so I guess that helped. Regardless, we've got plenty of gossip, friendly gossip. And then I think under gossip about other Sims, we could we should start setting these Sims up. I think they should start dating people. So maybe we'll have Paige. Honestly, I wanna try for Noah and see how that goes. Noah sounds like a catch. I'll introduce myself when I see him. Okay, cute. Let's set up Brielle. I honestly want her to hook up with someone that's nearby. So let's go Nicholas Walker. All right, let's go talk with Brielle and see if she and Nicholas Walker will get together. Oh my God, there's my love. There's my crush. Okay, we're sitting next to him. She's like, oh my God, you guys look so good together. It says study for exams. Like I've never figured out how to do that. We're gonna send a little message. Oh my gosh. We're gonna like flirt with Vincent. I'd like a scoop of you. And then we're gonna send something funny to Brielle. Pop quiz about statistics. River thought the quiz would be hard enough, but there's one question that feels impossible. It's multiple choice. So I was thinking statistically, C is the safest choice. Go with C. Ignores her, the superstitions plaguing her mind. C is the right answer. And River picks it confidently. Small classroom performance boost, yay. Okay, good. We need to really hustle at school if we're gonna start getting our grades back up. Attend your science class. Learn your science thingies. Ooh, maybe we should invite over our crush to hang out with us while we do homework together. River turned in some good work and took some good notes today. Yes, okay. Hopefully we're leveling up a bit. Okay, we're, our performance is now good. So I don't know if that changed, but regardless, let's go home and we need to like maybe watch some TV. We'll invite over our crush after school today to my house to do homework and like hang for a bit. Oh my God, look how happy she is. She's literally clicking her heels. Okay, Vincent's coming over and he's here. Yay! Okay, let's like flirt with him a little bit and then sit together. We'll make them like a little group. How are you guys? You need some fun. Why don't you go play with your toys? It is his birthday, so, and she's a little cold. Why don't you change your outfit to cold weather, okay? Warm yourself up. River's feeling so good. She's coming in to be like, come inside. Let's watch the cooking channel and they're gonna watch TV together. And then maybe they'll like even like cuddle a bit. Oh my God, look at them. Look at these two. Maybe make out a little bit. Hopefully she's also, yes, her cooking skill is also going up while she's making out with her crush on the couch. So 
10 out of 10. Her fun is going up, so there's that at least. Wow, they just keep going here with the making out. Maybe you guys should do your homework together. Now it seems about time, although her cooking skill was so close. I don't know where he's gonna sit to do his homework. I thought you'd do it maybe like at the dining table, but it's all good. Her little brother, maybe he should introduce himself, talk to the stranger a little bit. Ivy should try to introduce herself, maybe a polite introduction. Oh, I guess she's coming over to sit a little closer to him. Oh, she and Vincent and her little brother bonded. That's so cute. Dad's come in, so he needs to introduce himself to Vincent. He'd be like, who is this young man? Is the cake all full? I think the cake is still, I think there is a cake, but it's half eaten. Yeah, let's throw away that cake and let's cook a new cake. Or actually, you know, we could cook a cake together with our crush for our little brother's birthday after I finish my homework. I think that might be the move. Maybe dad can help her with her homework. He's like, hello, I'm her dad. And why don't you do a little cheerful introduction to him as well? River's like, oh yeah, for sure, dad, thank you. Vincent's feeling embarrassed about meeting her parents but our homework's complete, perfect. And we're gonna celebrate our little brother's birthday. Apparently he's just gonna watch, but that's okay. Level up, Blipper five of the cooking skill, go off River. She's halfway there, good job. Just gonna add some birthday candles, cool. Okay, my boyfriend left, no, he's like going towards the thing. It might get, be getting late for him too, you know, but that's okay. Blow out candles with Royal once we're done using the toilet. Oh, is she going through her face? Yeah, she's enraged. She's having a mood swing. Maybe her parents said something into her crush and she's real mad. She's crying in the mirror. Oh, where did her crush go? Did he leave? Oh, maybe that's the reason why she's upset that he kind of was like, I gotta head out. But it is 10.30 on a school night, babe. Like, come on, you're all good. Maybe go take a cold shower to cool off. And mom and dad are going to help your little brother other age up, okay? She's still real, real mad and real tired and grumpy. Royal has blown out his birthday candles and is aging up. Happy birthday, Royal. He is a cheerful baby and we're gonna let him do a multi-skill. He's cheerful, but I think he's a creative because like he's gonna be a writer, I think. River's enraged. Okay, girl, you, I think you should just go to bed. I was gonna say she could go for a run, but I think she could just go to bed, to be honest. And Royal, let's check you out. Out. Let's do kind of a longer brow and give him some lashes. I think that one's nice. And uh, he was rocking some blue. He likes to write, so that'll be cute for him. Oh, this is his cold weather look. Okay, I was thinking it was his warm weather look. Okay, let's maybe do this kind of uh, white shoes. Cute, all right. And then for his everyday, let's get his medium length hair going. Perfect, all right. And then we've got, I loved that sweatshirt on him. This one with the jeans. Maybe this in like a blue would be cute. Yeah, it's cute. Fit. Formal wear, I like this outfit that he's got going on here. Maybe we can put it in more of a blue color. Perfect. I might put him in more like, yeah, classic shoe. There you go, looking dapper. Athletic wear. I mean, I don't mind this. Again, I'm gonna go kind of in the blue sphere for these things. And then he's got an Apple watch, apparently. He's that kid. Maybe he'll have some like bluish shoes to match his fit, perfect. Party wear, maybe something like this. And then we'll do his, his jeans that he's always wearing. His little blue sneaks, perfect. Hot weather, I like this, these little shoes. I think it might be cute to have another kid with glasses. Yeah, maybe like that. Oh, Royal, what a little bean. For sports, maybe he has like more intense glasses so that he doesn't, you know, in case he runs into something. And then he's got some blue aviators that are prescription, of course. So there is our Royal, he's all aged up. I love, love, love him. Our girl River is fast asleep, but like living her dreams right now, obviously except for like her really bad grades that needs, she needs to work on. So if you guys have any tips on that, let me know. We'll maybe consider getting a pet in the next few episodes. I know you guys gave a lot of great suggestions for what kind of pet she should have. And until the next time, I'll see you guys around the internet very soon. Bye.